killing bites, an unapologetically trash and gory show with an astounding 6.6 .6 on Mal. I mean guys, come on, it's not that bad. Not like it's SAO or anything. <sighs> Quick tangent, when did SAO become the butt of the joke? I know it's bad, but it single-handedly redefined the genre of trash. Like, come on guys. Anyway, uh, Killing Bites is the rubric, the par for the course that trash and others should be based off of. I remember watching this back in 2018, desperately waiting for a season two that three years later never came, but I will say in desperation that this does need a season two. It was that good. We open up on Yuya Nomoto, a sophomore in college who gets tricked into being the getaway driver of a human trafficking ring, already off to a great start. Unbeknownst to him, Hitomi, the defenseless high school girl he picks up, is a brutal animal-human hybrid genetically modified for mortal combat. I'm not a furry, but you know, she could get it. I'm not a furry. I said I'm not. Yuya is then thrust into the brutal world of Thundercats Gone Wild, now having to deal with assassination attempts through Titty, financial enslavement, and worst of all, crazy ass bit. <laughs> Brute Rattail vs. Leo the first arc consists of introducing us to Brute Rattail and Yuya. After Yuya's friends are murdered in the back of a van, he is forced to bet and watches his life is held within the hands of Hitomi the Brute Rattail. This underground betting ring is specifically made for the wealthiest individuals consisting of major corporations, Yakuza groups, and it is coincidentally named Killing Bites. It's like the name of the show, oh my god. Winning the fight with Yuya's, Yuya's immediate future is now secured. However, Yuya is now the main financial backer in this furry cock ring with a target on his back and a were rat tail sleeping in his bed. The only thing he can do now is just go along for the ride. The Cheetah and the Hare With the announcement of the next Killing Bites event being a battle royale, Hitomi is going to need some squad mates. Hitomi is tasked by her guardian slash creator to participate with the Ishida group, consisting of a useless rabbit and a somewhat less useless hippo. Leading to the battle royale, Hitomi is challenged by a cheetah, uh, then there's some fan service with maid uniforms. It gets really weird in between here. Fur Zone Battle Royale. A giant chess game with series of fights held on an abandoned island. Each financial backer controls their piece, but of course, Yuya has no spine, so he just lets Hitomi go wherever the hell she wants. Until it comes back to bite him in the ass when she almost gets raped by a snake. Oh, oh god, she just made sashimi out of his pee pee. Ugh. I'm not going to spoil the rest of the fights nor the twist at the end, you'll just have to watch it yourself, but I think the best part was definitely the ending scene, because uh, she had it coming. The soundtrack in general is stellar. Heavy metal mixed with subtle, comedic, and enigmatic melodies sprinkled throughout, great opening, and great ED, with eye-catching visuals, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Overall, an 8 out of 10. Conclusion. This anime does a lot, I've read the comments on various anime sites, and People tend to have a very bad view on this anime, I, I don't blame them. I don't think it's that bad, it, it is a bit rapey in the in the middle there and towards the end, but for the most part the animation is clean, the characters stay on model, the soundtrack is great, and the concept is interesting. It does have its fault, most notably the plot holes surrounding Hitomi's deus ex machina powers, but you know, hopefully this anime gets a season 2 where you read the manga. I'm not reading the manga. 8 out of 10 garbage incinerators. Leave a like, subscribe, have yourself a damn good one, 316, out.